what's going on, y'all? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And you're about to watch a little OTB LSU. We're going to give you all the latest, greatest between LSU football, baseball, women's basketball, softball, and everything in between. Bottom line, if you want to talk Tigers, keep it locked, subscribe, like it, and uh, we hope you enjoy the um, Biggest spring needs. <laughs> This is from on3.com, 22 word transfer. Biggest spring needs are the top 10 national championship contenders. Um, so what they did here, Jake, was uh, they took the top 10, uh, according to Vegas, the teams that have the top 10 best mm -hmm. odds of winning the Natty. Um, LSU's one of them. Uh, and, and you know, obviously, <clears throat> we know what LSU's needs are. Uh, defensive tackle. Um, so let's see what these other teams need. According to, and this is from Jesse Simonton, who does great work for on three. According to Jesse Simonton, what does the UJ Bulldogs need? Interior defensive tackles. Uh, that's right. They did not get Walter Nolan over the offseason. Um, they did get Xavier McLeod, who looked really good from spring, coming over from South Carolina. But um, look, if there was a relative weakness, and a heavy emphasis on the relative last season, uh, it was Georgia's interior defensive line as that run defense was not nearly what it was a couple of years ago. Let's look at what tax, Texas, 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 <laughs> look at what it's Texas a, needs. It was April 15th yesterday. It is. I mean, it's a season, yeah, you, know? That, you know. Um, what do the Texas Longhorns need? <gasps> interior defensive tackle. Yeah, they got two, they got two in the <laughs> NFL draft coming up. Yeah, yeah that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. You know, let's move out to the Oregon Ducks. You guessed it. Interior defensive tackle, as they've done great work pretty much everywhere else, getting the quarterbacks. Forgot they got Evan Stewart. Um, you know anything about Jay Harris, Division II running back they got? He's a Division II All-American. I just didn't know if he'd come across. A Division II All-American just sounds gritty. I didn't know he'd come across your uh, your radar yet. Yeah, uh, gosh, we were talking about that. When we were talking about Cody Schrader, like maybe a couple of days ago. I don't remember. Maybe it was last week. Uh, it all like on paper, you're trying to find the next always, whoever the next might be, like the next Division two running back to turn into Cody Schrader, who leads the SEC in rushing. Uh, you try to find the next Danny Woodhead, who I think Danny Woodhead was like Division three, maybe even something. Damn. And then he turns into a 10 year NFL vet, one of the better third down backs in recent memory. So you're always trying to find that next. And so, look, go get a, a Division two All American and see, because running back is a position that you can plug and play a little bit. You don't have to have that chemistry of being there for a long time and being yeah. a quarterback and you can either run the football or you can't. And so if there was a position where you can go from division two to whatever league you're talking about and have some success, I do think it is running back. Uh, what about the Florida state Seminoles uh, led by Mike Norvell, a, a portal master in his own right, the portal King. Some have crowned him. Well, what do they need? You guessed it. Interior defensive tackle. Uh, Jake, if you are a big D tackle, there has never been a better time to make a lot of money because I don't care if people say you're overrated, you're not worth it. There are so many teams that have needs in yeah. this regard that you are going to have suitors no matter what. And it's going to be pretty fascinating to see LSU try to go toe to toe with these teams. Now bringing Bo Davis to bear. And trying to take advantage and get some of these big defensive tackle names over the next few weeks. Yeah, but I will say, like, how much is your need? Like, I wish there was levels to this. That's fair. Like, I mean, there much, is, I mean they, they write about each one, to be fair. like Because ESPN.com, they put out kind of the same article, and it was like guys that are going to – or teams that are going to be very active in this transfer portal, seven schools who need – this position more than any other school needs this position. And then LSU falls on the defensive tackle spot – there and so you're going to be uber aggressive and so you're not looking right now to spend your nil capital anywhere else yeah. you're looking firmly at the defensive tackle position now uga they might be looking at defensive tackle but also tied in mm -hmm. and florida state might be looking at defensive tackle but also receiver well and like, the path to playing at uga is not going to be I mean, maybe they need yeah. depth. Maybe they need a little like right. reinforcement, yeah, right? But it's not started. like LSU where you could come in and you'd have a a, a very fair chance of oh, becoming an immediate starter. There ain't no question about it. You can come in LSU right now and you're competing to be D tackle one. Yeah, not two, not three, not four. I mean, you would be fighting with Jacoby and Guillory to be D tackle one, and so LSU offers that. And again, I think that. We talked about this. I think it was last week. You have to overpay in the second portal window because that player's. His worth, if it was three months ago, would be completely different. And that's why, like, now you, 
there's a risk to it because you're not there for spring ball fourth quarter program. But as a player, your ultimate value is going to be in this portal window because teams are going to have to overreach for you because yeah. this is the last time that they can add anyone to their roster. Well, teams now know themselves. Like, yes. if you watched uh, any of the highlights from the Ohio State spring game, it is clear that offensive line needs help. Yep. Um, they they fail to name a starter coming out of spring, which is not great for a team that is thought to be maybe the premier challenger to UGA. But again, not a I don't think it's a death sentence by any means. It's just not ideal. But then watching the spring game, it's like, okay, well, one of the reasons why they haven't named a starter is because the defense just whooped the O-line's ass the entire time. I mean, the quarterbacks were under constant duress. So, like, yeah, to Jake's point, uh, this is the portion of your year where – you learn more about yourself and you know your needs are they're much more clearly defined. And so, yeah, players are going to gain value if they can fill those needs. Uh, for what it's worth, the Simonton article says LSU, anything on defense, um, which is probably a, a bit unfair. Linebacker. Though re-watching the spring game, uh, mm, I, I, did, I did come away. Again, yes, the offense should kick their ass. It would have been much more concerning if this offense was struggling against that defense given that they're just better and defense is only running base. Still, uh, as Kelly talked about during the game, too many big plays. Busted coverages, just allowing too many big plays. Um, the Caleb Jackson touchdown run felt so eerily similar to so many times last year with awful run fits from the safeties, bad angles. I mean, I'm not surprised that the O-line blocked it up perfectly and that it was, I think it was power and like, Perkins got just demolished by maybe it was Dellinger pulling around. Like I'm not I'm not surprised by any of that, but I did find the 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 run fits to be a little disheartening there. So whatever the defense does have to get better. It's just that interior defensive tackle is kind of where you have the most need. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it because we've talked about some of the the veteran players you have at safety, and you know you got some young players that are coming as well. Corners, you're going to be incredibly young. I would not be surprised if they. Just added a veteran corner now. Yeah, you do I think you have, have to. You do have a veteran corner coming back from injury a little bit later on. Wasn't there in the spring in Alexander. So you have him coming back, and so that will help give you a veteran presence. I thought there was times he played really well before he got injured. So you do have some reinforcements coming. But I would add, T, I would add a third, fourth-year player just in that room that's maybe not even going to be like – a guy who rolls out there every single time, but just to have a veteran presence in that room. Yeah, I mean, you look at uh, the success that you had with a um, uh, with oh, I'm like uh, oh, like Jared Bernard Converse or something, right? Now that that's going to be on the highest end of that scale, right? I, I doubt you'll find a guy like that in this window, but uh, I, I certainly you should. Uh, who who is the safety? Jacoby Jacoby Matthews. Uh, yeah, but he's from A and M, so you can't oh, in the so second can't window. Get him, yeah, because the SEC rule. SEC rule, not NCAA SEC rule that you can't go to another SEC school in the second window and be eligible. The same way that people challenge the NCAA's rules in those regards in court, I wonder what would happen if that was challenged in court. I mean, because the SEC would have no power that the like that the NCAA would not, right? Um, not that you're going to bring it to 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 that end, but um, that's certainly interesting to to think about. Uh, so portal opening up today again you have a lot of the same needs as others can you out recruit them can you out pitch them uh, and to Jake's point your need is more desperate which probably means you might offer more and again your path to the field is clearer than pretty much any other team that we just named uh, for what it's worth the other top 10 teams in their portal needs one that weren't defensive tackle uh, we mentioned Ohio State needing offensive tackles uh, one thing you do not need at all um, Alabama, we talked about their secondary earlier, right? Replacing Taron Arnold, Cooley McKinstry, Caleb Downs, um, Trey Atmos. They got, they got a lot of uh, names that they have to try to replace uh, with, I think, Malachi Moore being the lone DB with multiple years of experience returning there. Uh, Michigan, any offensive pieces, quarterback, wide receiver, offensive line, yeah. they just have lost a massive amount in a single offseason. They have Ole Miss needing a running back, um, not quite having filled that – Quinchon Judkins hole, which again, Judkins maybe flashed one time in that Ohio State spring game. I that O line, man. That's that's you that's got, gonna be a Ohio Diggs. State's Achilles heel. Logan yeah, Diggs at Ole Miss. They signed Logan Diggs, so No, yeah, I know, but I mean, you know. Uh, Diggs is fine. On ESPN.com, that same article in kind of the same vein, it had Michigan's biggest 
primary need as quarterback as well. And you ain't gonna you find one of the, them now. You look at the list, and it's like Alex Orgy was somebody that came in like change of pace quarterback. I mean, he basically was a runner when he came in last year. Jack Tuttle coming over from Indiana. It's like they don't they don't have a lot there too. No. I'm surprised they didn't add in the initial. That I guess they did in Jack Tuttle, but I don't know that that's your answer. Feel bad for Sharon Moore, you know. Feel like Harbs kind of saw the writing on the wall, the incredible exodus of talent and everything else, and was like, you know what? Mm, I think I'm good. Wow, Jake, what incredible takes. I mean, those guys, they're just the best. Uh, I think so. And if you think so, again, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications when we post every single day here on OTB LSU.